thank you to my grandmother. My grandmother, without her, I wouldn't be the woman that I am today. Welcome to Right Back TV. And I'm sure what's most important, anyone anywhere in the world who may stumble to this would say, I don't care who that guy is. Yeah. I want to know who Brenda Mdambu is. Before the stage, yeah. and I want to know what got her on stage. I guess you're asking me who I am. Yeah. Before the stage. Yeah. I'm a mother. Um, I'm someone, someone. Uh huh. Um, I'm a creative more than anything. I'm just a creative. Brenda, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? It's a rhetorical question. You look good. You, <laughs> you, you exude that, you know, there is yeah. something that is about to happen right now, right here. Thank you. And I saw a taste of it earlier on when you were doing a sound check. Yeah. I'd say on, on, on stage, I, I become, I transform. I, yeah, I, 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 I become different. It's a, certain, it's, it's a different energy than what I, I normally am at home or in just a relaxed setting when we're chatting. You know, yeah. when I'm on stage, I don't know what gets into me, but I, I, I become something different a bit. Your work ethic on stage and off stage, is it the same since you are two different people on stage and off stage? My work ethic is the same. I'm a very committed person. You know, I'm yeah. very committed. Meaning, yeah. in everything that I'm gonna do, I'm yeah. gonna do it 100. Like I commit 100%. That is one thing that is common you know, on and off. You seem like a person who's nice, yes, but a person that one should never dare mess with. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it true? A lot though? of people say that, uh, yes, I, I think it is true because I'm very honest. Yeah. So if, for instance, I don't like what you're doing, yeah. I'm going to tell you that I don't like it. I'm not going to push, I mean, uh, you, you beat said around it. the bush. <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't know, I didn't want to say that. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you straight on, I don't like what you're doing. And I'm gonna tell you in a way, I don't know, it depends how you, you, you receive it. I, I'm never the one to shout and do all these things, but I'll tell you the truth. And I'm, I'm very big on truth. How long has your journey taken to get to this day right here, right now, to this performance? Yeah. How many albums, how difficult, how fun, mm. uh, 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 heartbreaking moments, and joyful moments. You know, strangely today I was thinking that I started this journey 2010. Yeah. Meaning this year is my ninth year as a solo artist. But I was in the business before that. Yeah. So I've been here over a decade and almost close to two decades now. But as a solo artist, it's been nine years now. It's my ninth year. I have two albums. Yeah. Inspired, inspired, the first one. And yeah. so much more. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, the journey has had its ups and downs. The journey has been joyful, and at some moments I've had really, really bad moments. When I started out, let me share that. When I started out, a lot of people, I think, were failing to accept me or maybe understand what I was trying to do. So I struggled. In a way, I struggled. At some point, I remember I didn't even have a, a place to stay. I used to stay with friends, you know. I'll go and stay with a friend and do this and that. But I think because of, as I said earlier, I'm a committed person. When I start something, or when I do anything, I commit to it. I do it 100%. What <laughs> life what what setbacks that you look back right now and say that was a blessing if that did not happen as as painful as it may have yeah. been I, I would have not have moved to this moment I think the courage to to live where I was you know where because were you I was a backup singer yeah. I was I was behind a lot of people um, joy celebration joy celebration so the courage to live that and start something that I, I don't know. 
that is in my head. You know, I look back and I'm, 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 I'm glad that I took that step. So that step, though, it, might, it may have been a difficult step that you may, in, at moments, kind of regretted it and say, is it right, is it not, but you continued. When, it ha when things were difficult in my life, I look back and like, maybe I should have continued with, yeah. with, with baking. Yeah. Maybe I should have stayed a little bit with your celebration. Yeah. But then I'm glad that I did not. I'm, I'm glad that I did not back up from my decision. I said, this is what I want to do. I'm going to stay with friends. I'm going to go back home if I have to, but I'm going to commit to what I've started. I'm going to ask you a simple question and I bet you're going to get it wrong. Yeah. How many kids do you have? <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> How many? I don't know because I'm still birthing a lot of kids. Yeah. You know, but uh, the one that I got pregnant with are two. Yeah. And I'm still pregnant with. Uh, no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. With, I'm pregnant. No, with I didn't. Baby, I said how many? But yeah. I've got yeah. quite a lot of baby oh. that I want to. I think you got it. The answer is actually three. Yeah. The one that you carried in, yeah. you know, and the two albums. And yeah. right now there's one that's, there's the seed is in there. Where? The album is, Oh, okay, I'm thinking you're talking about the pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> the album is cooking right now. Yes. And there's a single that came out, you sent it to me today. Yeah. And it brightened up my day, uh, and my day is still brighter right thank now. You. Tell us about your single. My new single is called um, Sengwaku. I'm yours. Ungoam forever. It's yeah. Called Ungoam forever. Yeah. Um, you know, I wanted this. Uh, okay. First of all, this time around, yeah, I am executive producing my work, meaning I have ownership of what I'm doing. Yeah. I, I have power in taking decisions. Yeah. I partnered with uh, Sony mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, for H N Entertainment. So. I came to her and I was like, I want to own my stuff. I don't want to sign with any label anymore. I want to be the boss. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to decide what I'm going to sing, how I'm going to sing it. So this album was something that I conceptualized in my head. I'm like, I want to do this. I need to get someone who's going to, you know, interpret my music differently from what, it, from what everyone else has been interpreting it in. You know, I, I, I feel like before, I would bring songs and people would just take a song and interpret them the way they want. Okay. Meaning it becomes more about them than about me. Than you, yeah. Yeah, so my two albums have been great. But honestly, it's not what I wanted in terms of the sounds. and But I didn't have power. If you, you know, if, 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 if power is a, is a very dangerous thing. Because if you are just singing, sometimes you're going to sing what people tell you to sing. Mm -hmm. You're going to do what you know, you're told to do. But this time around, this song specifically, when I met this guy, I was like, I want... Uh, who is this guy? It's David Yeah, Mutanda. I was hoping you would mention his name. Yeah, yeah David Mutanda. Yeah. David is from Congo. Yeah. Um, when I, I heard uh, his stuff, I thought, this guy, I, I want to work with this guy. You know, I love how open he is with music. He's not confined into certain genre or what. And also he's very committed to his work. I was I sent him a voice note. And then he created music. Without me being there, I was not there. He just created music. And then he called me in the studio mm -hmm. to put the verses, mm -hmm. to write the song. Uh -huh. Like I finished the song off. And then I called my friend Fisa, who is a great songwriter as well. And then we, we combined in writing the song and then we had, yeah. How spiritual are you and where do you get, where do you source your energy? I, I, I truly, I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in God so much. Like, I, there's nothing that I do without consulting God. The, I don't know, I, 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 I feel like everything that I've, I've become, I owe it to God. You know, I am a very spiritual person. You're already in the moment. Yeah. Can you look at the camera or just look at me or in the, your mind's eye, look at them, especially Gogo, who brought you up, and your child who is four years, six months right now, and just say thank you to the inspiration that they brought onto you yeah. and impose onto you because you have no choice, but you have to work. Yeah. I have no choice. And, and add the list uh, in terms of the Tembam Kise, not Tembam Kise, what's his name? Um, Lindelani. Lindelani Kise. Mm -hmm. just, just 
give me a list of those people that okay. they would fall off your, your mouth yeah. like this and saying thank you. Thank you to my grandmother. My grandmother, without her, I wouldn't be the woman that I am today. Without her, I don't think I'll even have this melody that I have in my head. Without her, I wouldn't be free to express myself the way that I do. Without her, I don't think I'll have enough courage to do the thing that I've done. Without her, I don't think I'll have anyone to listen to me. You know, she is my ultimate person who has taught me so much and her love is amazing. And my kids, my kids have given me that power that pushes me to do more. You know, I, I'm not afraid of anything. They've given me that I'm I'm Sabi Luterman. Like I just wanna do whatever. Whatever that I want to do, I do it. You know, they've given me that courage. My kids, they they teach me also to be patient, to be to calm down a bit, to be patient, to be understanding. They teach me that life is not that serious, you know? My kids are my life. My my kids have taught me love. Love. You know, to, to express love without like unconditional love I, I receive from my kids and also I'm able to give my kids and 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 also you mentioned Bablin Dara Mkiza. Bablin Dara Mkiza is one person who truly believed in me when Nami I was shaking in his belief he, he heard something in me and said you are special you've got a special voice you need to nurture that voice you know he, he believed in me a lot I remember even my first solo in Joyous, he forced me to sing that, that song. It was a, a, a song by international artist. Mm -hmm. and then he said, Brenda will sing this song. And I've never had a solo at the time. Everyone was like, Brenda, what did she come to do? But he believed in me. So thank you so much, Baum Kiza, for everything that you've done for me. You know, and, and, and I don't want to forget people that support me. I've got really amazing supporters. They are loyal. I've got loyal supporters. I, I can never say thank you and, and leave them behind because everything that I, I am because of them. Yeah. You know, one, I, I know, sometimes I know them because they invite, they'll invite 20 people with. They want everyone to hear me. They want everyone to know about me. They are passionate about me sometimes more than me. They tell me things That's to do, deep. Brenda. You need to do A, B, C, D, 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 Brenda. We're gonna call radios because we need your song, in, 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 Brenda. This is the, they are involved in my life. They they push me. So thank you to my fans and everyone who supports me. What's your prayer today? My, my prayer today is that whatever that God wants to happen today, He makes me to allow myself for that thing to happen. I want to be in a position to allow whatever that needs to happen today to happen. I don't feel like I'm in control of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Brenda Mdambu at Hot Rock Cafe in Santon. She is an African queen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>